Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a get ready with me and just hanging out, playing with some makeup for absolutely no reason. So social distancing at its finest. Today when you're watching this, it's actually my birthday, March 24th. I am 24 today and I don't have anything to do. I'm not going anywhere, of course, for obvious reasons, but I thought it would be fun just to get ready anyways. I wanted to just do my makeup and just, you know, get cute, use my favorite products and I thought, why not film it and just hang out with you guys? We can get ready together. So that is what we're doing today. Of course, if you're getting ready, or if you need to get ready, let's do it together. Grab your makeup, grab your makeup brushes, grab a snack, grab a glass of wine, and let's get glam together. We're just gonna jump right in because you guys know I'm very chatty, so let's get into it. Okay, brows are done, and I also did prime my lids already. I used the Fenty Pro Filter eyeshadow base today just to switch it up a little bit. And today for eyeshadows, I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette. I actually saw this was on sale on Anastasia's website. It's like $31 or $32, which is amazing because I love this palette. I've actually been using this quite a bit and I am just obsessed with it. So I'm gonna dabble into this and then also the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals palette, which you guys know I love. So I'm gonna start off by just setting my eye primer. I'm gonna just use the Alamar Cosmetics Banana Shade in this little contour kit that they have and I'm just gonna put that on all over my lid just to like set this primer a little bit. You don't have to do that. And I feel like your shadows do stick really nicely to your eyeshadow primers when they are a little tacky, but sometimes I don't want it to be too tacky because then I find it a little bit difficult to blend. I'm sorry, the sun is coming in and out. I have like this cover on my window and it's still like just shining so bright today. Don't mind the lighting. I need to work on my lighting actually and make it a little bit better. So we're gonna be doing some upgrading very soon. But I'm gonna start off with the Jackie Ina palette today and I'm gonna use the shade Supreme and I'm just gonna apply that right in my crease. I'm gonna build this up quite a bit. I think I wanna do some purple today, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Oh, I love this color. It's like a very wearable pink. I used to be so scared of pink eyeshadows, but I love them. I'm really gonna just focus this in my crease, bringing it up just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go in with some shimmer, you already know. So how is everybody doing? I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy. And for those of you who are still working during this time, thank you so much. Like if you're in the healthcare field, if you're working like at the grocery store, supermarkets, all those places, thank you so much because I can only imagine like how hectic things have been. But I, I thank all of you for the service and the work that you do because you guys are like heroes at this time. It's, it's such a crazy time. I'm very grateful for everybody who is still able to work. And I hope that those of you who can't work during this time are being paid by your companies because it's just, it's a crazy time. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Pinker, which is a really pretty like mauve tone, pinky purpley kind of shade. I'm gonna be applying that right in my crease. But besides everything, I hope that you guys are, you know, maybe if you're at home enjoying time with your families and just trying to make the best out of everything. I know I didn't really like necessarily address everything that has been going on in my last couple videos. Um, and it, honestly, that's only because like, I'm sure that you guys have been all over the media and it's like just everywhere when you go Check your email when you go on Facebook, like it's everywhere. And I wanted to try to make everything feel a little bit as normal as possible with continuing to film and everything. But of course I'm thinking of everybody and you know, I'm aware of everything that's going on, but I'm definitely wishing you guys well. And um, yeah, let's just try to stay positive. I hope that my videos can help any of you guys out. If Even if I just help like a couple of you out there who are feeling down or just you're not feeling well, I feel like I've accomplished something then if I can help at least a couple of you guys out there um, during this time or just in general, you know what I mean? If you're going through something and you watch my videos to like escape, that makes me happy and I feel like, okay, I'm doing something right. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Shookington right here. I love the names in these. And this is just like a really pretty shimmery purple and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. Hector did get me a cake, which is really nice. I'm super excited about that because I have the biggest sweet tooth. But other than that, not really much going on, but I'm still grateful though, obviously for another year for being able to work from home like there's just so much to be thankful for not just on my birthday but every day 
so I don't really care if we're not doing anything. To be honest, we were probably gonna do anything anyways, so it doesn't really bother me. My nails are about to be looking terrible. I'm thinking about just ripping them off, to be honest, because they're just growing out so quickly. And I'm thinking about just getting maybe the Kiss uh, press-on nails. I think I've used those before and I really liked them, but I know they have like more styles and shapes now. So I think I'm gonna just do those for now. I'm gonna take the shade Big Wig right here, which is like a really deep, like royal purple. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna apply that right in this area right here in the outer crease. I'm gonna try to be really gentle with this shade because I've heard that purples are always really difficult to make and just like to work with in general. So I'm gonna try to like really be gentle with this. I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush. Purples on me always look a little splotchy. It could be the brushes that I'm using as well because it's happened many times with many of my eyeshadow palettes. But I just love purple. Like I feel like it's such a pretty color. I also officially started moving stuff into the house so like my actual stuff like hector he's been like moved a lot of his stuff over for a while now if you guys watched any of my vlogs on my vlog channel then you would know by the way a couple of you guys were like um dming me and you were asking like wait what where is your house tour and i'm like girl i uploaded that like a month ago on the vlog channel but i feel like some people still don't know that i have a vlog channel but yes i have a vlog channel it's just juicy jazz vlogs it's always in the description box um so check it out if you like vlogs um but it's funny because somebody dm'd me actually last night and they're like where's the house tour and i've been getting a couple dms about that i guess because i've been talking about the house in a couple of my videos and um yeah it's funny because i literally uploaded that like over a month ago when we first closed on it but yes it is up on the vlog channel and i've been trying to upload at least like one vlog a week but you know I'm gonna have more content for you guys soon once I get over to the new house and I'm more settled. It's just, you know, things are just so crazy, but at the same time, they're kind of boring. I haven't really been doing much lately, so I don't have a ton of new content for you guys, especially now with everything like being closed and stuff. We've been, haven't been like going anywhere, so literally just been in the house, but more content is coming. Somebody in my vlog, they were like, are you like stalling on moving? Like, do you not want to move yet? And I'm like, um, I do want to move. If it was up to us, we would have moved like when we first closed on the house. There's just so much that we had to do. Like we had to redo our master shower and that took longer than what we thought it was going to take. And it was because of the design that we chose for the shower, which is understandable. I mean, it's finished now and it looks amazing. And then also we got some custom blinds and we had to wait for those to come. They took about four weeks and we didn't want to live in the house with no blinds we would have had to put like trash bags all over the house and it's just like you know it wasn't really necessary to do so we just you know we've been kind of taking our time like moving things over and especially me and I'm honestly I guess that maybe I am stalling a little bit not intentionally but just because we don't have to like move or like leave yet I'm using my milk makeup kush mascara I love this mascara, I've been really enjoying it. I might add a little bit more purple, maybe to make it a little bit darker, we'll see. But I'm gonna move into falsies. I'm gonna use these Ilore number 126 falsies from Ilore. <laughs> I actually found this three pack at Target and I've really actually been loving these lashes. I was watching an old video of mine and I mentioned that I didn't love these that much anymore just because I didn't feel like they were as dramatic as what I like. But I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? These are perfect. Perfect. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black. So jumping back into the Tati palette, I'm gonna go into the black shade right here and I'm gonna apply that kind of like on the outer crease a little bit just to deepen this look up and maybe it'll help with like the little splotchiness that I have here. Ooh, I like that. This black is so black. It's like the blackest black in my collection not even kidding like i would buy this palette again just for the black in here it is so good okay, here we go prepping the skin i'm gonna do a little primer water action la girl primer spray of course love this so good i feel like this is a really good dupe for the smashbox coconut primer water that they had that was limited edition that i talked about in one of my last videos very good. Now I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So it's a primer and a moisturizer. I've been really, really loving this. It's so good. It really makes your makeup last. I just, I love how it's like a two-in-one product. So when you first apply it, it feels very watery, but then like when you start rubbing it in, 
it gets super creamy and then it just absorbs into your skin and it's amazing, so. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is foundation, of course. I'm gonna use my Haley's Beauty Reform Liquid Luxe Luminous Foundation, and I'm gonna mix 3.25 and 2.50. Love this foundation, obsessed, so good. It's just really good. Like, there's just not really much to it other than, like, it's bomb, and Haley's Beauty is still having their friends and family sale until the 26th, so they have 25% off site-wide. You don't need a code or anything. And when you're checking out, it takes the like discount away, or the money off of the, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> when you're checking out, it discounts the products. <laughs> and I'm using the Haley's Beauty sponge, which I love. It's so pretty, I want something fresh today with like really good coverage, so this is perfect. Then for concealer, I'm actually gonna mix two. Let's Let's try this out. ELF 16 hour camo concealer, the original, and then their hydrating camo. Cause I feel like I love this concealer. The shades are always just a little like off for me. So it's never like perfect. So in the original camo, I'm using the shade light beige, which is very light. And then in the hydrating camo, it's a little bit darker. It's, oh, it's a light beige, but look, the tones are different, like completely different. This one's definitely a little bit darker and more yellow. Can you see? So I guess mixing is actually good. And I'm gonna use their new little pointy sponge, which is perfect for the under eye area. Cause it's like really long and skinny. Do you see that? It's amazing. There's so many good sponges nowadays. Like I remember when everybody was using me, myself included, was just using the beauty blender. Like there was not a good sponge like ever, but now there's so many great dupes. It makes me so happy. Oh gosh, my eyelash is coming off. Eesh. I think it's because I used eye drops beforehand, which I shouldn't have done, but I'm constantly using my eye drops to like refresh my eyes as I'm filming. I feel like when I film, my eyes get drier. I think it's maybe because of the lights or the makeup, I don't know, but that's why this came off, I'm assuming. I'm gonna set my under eye area and I'm just gonna use my Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. This one's in the shade Translucent Light. Just to switch it up a little bit because, you know, you guys know how I get. I use the same products a lot. With good reason though. Ooh, lots of powder. Um, they're good products, you know? So I kind of go in, in a rut and I keep using the same thing over and over again. But I know it can get like super boring, but. I'm using this brush from Olimar Cosmetics. Just gonna press that powder in. I just realized I forgot to cream bronze and I wanted to do that. I literally have the product right here, so maybe we can still do it because I didn't set my entire face. I hope it doesn't make my products blotchy or anything, but we're gonna just go with it. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This one is in Baked. I love this. I used it in my full face testing milk makeup and this is so good. I'm like obsessed with it. I've been using this one in the Haley's Beauty Replay Foundation Sticks as well, which I really like, but this is a new product for me. The Haley's Beauty Foundation Sticks I used before, but this is so good. I'm just gonna do a little bit and just kind of stipple that product in. Let me put on my lash, hold on. Hopefully my lash wasn't popping off the entire time and hopefully it wasn't super distracting because you guys notice stuff that I don't notice. So I'm always like trying to be super cautious when I film. This brush is from Sigma by the way. Um, it's the F15, LA Girl has one just like it. But it's like a really nice stippling brush. I just love how bronzy, okay, this looks like a stripe on the face. I just love how bronzy this makes your skin look though. Like it, it's really, really pretty. I'm so into cream bronzing now, which is crazy because it's not really something that I typically do, but like I love it now. now I'm gonna set my bronzer. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer. This one I believe is in Delightful or something like that. I'll leave it down below. It's just one of their warm bronzers that I love. So good. I'm just gonna set the creams. Always gotta set the cream bronzer. I don't think that this dries down completely matte. At least it doesn't feel like it on my skin, maybe because the foundation's underneath as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice just got really raspy. Oh my gosh, did I forget to wipe the powder away again? I think we're good. The coast is clear. Oh, I'm glad I noticed that. Oh my 
gosh. I have had to refilm so many videos, you guys, for having so much powder on my hair. Like, it's actually like really, really distracting. And like, I know that some people just, they get so bothered by things like that. So I'm like, gotta refilm. So yeah, it's like little things like that sometimes that are so frustrating that I wish I could edit through when I'm like editing my videos, but like, Sometimes you gotta just refill. I'm gonna just set my brows. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind. Now for blush and highlight, I'm gonna use my BH Blushing in Bali palette. I feel like this is like perfect for today's look. So I'm gonna use these two blushes right in here and I'm just gonna apply those to my cheeks. I think this matches really well with like the crease shade that we have going on too, which is pretty. I usually love peachy blushes, you guys know, but this is good. I forgot to add bronzer to my nose. I'm gonna use the Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. I was gonna use this under my eyes today, like the banana shade to brighten, but the concealer ended up just being super bright, so I don't wanna add any more lightness because I feel like the concealer is actually a little too light for me today, but I just wanted to use different products because like I said, I just used so many of the same ones. I've been using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer like crazy and I literally can't stop using it. I like the undertones of that concealer more than the e.l.f. concealer, but the e.l.f. concealer does have good coverage. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade, these two actually mixed, and I'm not gonna do too much because even though it's my birthday, we're gonna keep it very light. And I have some lovely friends that decided to pop up, so. All right, I'm gonna do my lips right now because I don't want you guys to keep looking at this right now. This is crusty and it's not cute. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Pencil. This one's in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. Let's sharpen up this little bad boy here. I just use an LA Girl sharpener, by the way, and I really, really like it actually. It's, it's good for like eye pencils, lip pencils. So creamy, like why? Then I'm gonna use the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Manila. It's like a little bit darker than the lip liner, but it matches really well. Mm, how pretty is this with this eye look? Like I'm living, it's a little bit more cool tone, but it's gorgeous. All right, we gotta do some gloss. Look at all the, do you, you guys should see how my makeup looks after I'm done filming. Like there's just powder everywhere, not just on my hair, it's everywhere. I'm using the Marc Jacobs gloss and this one's in the shade Pretty Thing. It's just like a really pretty pinky. These like, I feel like make your breath smell good because they're like minty. I'm gonna pop my earrings back on and we can finish up these lower lashes. When I put hoops on, I just have so much more attitude. I love it. Jumping back into the Jackie Ina palette, I'm gonna take the shade Big Wig and Pinker. I'm gonna mix the two. Look at these faces I make when I do my makeup. It's like, you literally can't help it. Like, it's like something in you that's like pulling at your mouth to like make these faces when you're doing your makeup. It's crazy. Cause like, even if I try to like not, it just happens. I don't know if this palette is getting discontinued because I tried to look for it on Sephora's website and it's not there anymore. And I haven't seen it on Ulta's website. I think it's still in stores though. I mean, you know, stores are not open right now, but I know on ABH's website, it is on sale and I, I love it. It makes me sad when palettes that are so good are limited edition. Then for the waterline, I'm gonna use the Koki Velvet Smooth Liner. This one's in the shade Eggplant. It's just like the most perfect purple. It matches perfectly. I'm gonna kind of smudge it out a little bit just to make it even more smoky. Let me know if any of you guys have a birthday today because I know on Instagram, a couple people told me that like, they have like sisters that th today's their birthday, like their mom, their boyfriend. So let me know. And I'm an Aries. I have told you guys before, but I'm not really into horoscopes. So I don't know what that means. If you guys know what that means, let me know. So people are like, oh yeah, you're an Aries or you're an Aquarius. And I'm like, how do you know? Like, like what are my traits? Let me know. I actually used to read my horoscope like in high school all the time, like for fun, but I've never like gotten into it. Like I don't know like the science behind it or anything. Okay, 
We're not going anywhere today, but still, we want to make our makeup last. So I'm going to use my favorite high-end setting spray, the Smashbox Photo Finish Weightless Setting Spray. So that is it for this little chit chat, get ready with me, social distancing, birthday glam edition, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I was all over the place and like a little bit of a hot mess, but then again, I'm always a hot mess in my videos, but thank you guys for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sending you guys so much love during this time. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and more virtual hugs from me to you. I love you all, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.